Okay, so welcome back. This is just going to be a uh, Photoshop tutorial short or just a quick tip on things maybe you guys don't get, don't use, or don't notice. Now, this episode's subject is going to be focused on one tool and one tool only. Well, specifically one tool, um, which is the history brush. Um, this tool is tons worth of useful and a lot of people don't notice it or don't get how it works but basically what it does is it allows you to paint with history so I cut out this image using the same technique I used in my extraction video and I kinda messed it up on purpose a little bit right here but as you can see, the image is faded or sort of feathered or something on the edge. Now, I could just undo the extraction or redo the whole process, which would be pretty tiresome, and I really don't want to do that. Or, I could just take the history brush, and as you can see, when we paint out here, we get the background back. You can also, let's turn the hardness up. 75 is alright to work with. You can also paint inside the image and you get that image back because it is the layer. Now you can't paint say this layer's history on another layer. You can only paint on the active layer's history but as said this is really really useful. Now I can sit here and sort of carefully go over this or and just sort of follow the edge here and since this part of the image is uh, basically it has heavy contrast I'm just going to make sure I catch everything raise the size of my brush anyway so since this has heavy contrast I can simply use the quick selection tool to kind of grab the white around it Look at the other side here as you can see it selected that side kind of make my brush smaller get at this little area in here and then you would just delete it and there's your repaired cut. Now this tool, let's see, yeah, this tool is really useful as I said. Now, it may not be a messed up cut. You may have made, I don't know, uh, you know, a color modification. Let's change the hue. And say a certain area you want it back to the other color. You can use the history brush just to brush the history back in, or how the original image originally was. So. That's been a quick Photoshop tutorial short. I'll be back with more content shortly. And remember, if you want to guys want to see anything from simple to complicated, you can email at my email address, which I'll tack onto the end of this video, and it's usually on all my other videos. And if it's not in the video, it'll be in the description. So till next time, this has been a Photoshop short with Toko from Herotech Studios. And I'll see you later. Have a good night.